Hi everybody, welcome to your Twisting Wednesday. Uh, I'm Sarah and we got 60 minutes together in Yasta Flow. Um, as you already know, today we're gonna focus in twisting positions, okay? Um, you know that these positions give us a lot of benefits. I'm not gonna extend to explain these benefits, but just super quickly, before that we start uh, with the practice, just let you know, and I want you guys be aware that the different parts of the spine have different range of mobility. So just please, if you feel any uh, low back pain, just release or take any other modification that feels better for you. Okay, just be aware about this. Don't push too much and don't take care, not rotate over rotate, okay? Uh, that's happened because usually when we take this kind of pose, we prioritize um, getting the shape right um, over getting um, the shape safely. So for today, to achieve this twist position safely, what I want you guys is focus in, engage the core muscles before we move and then elongate the spine, trying to find this uh, neutral spine. Then from here, we're gonna feed the twist mainly from the thoracic spine, like uh, imagine that you want to grab your rib cage and then from here, we're gonna deepen the twist rather than just crunching and um, twisting from the hips, from the neck, which is the tendon. Okay, so shall we try? Let's start. So come um, in your bond and we're gonna start in Padakonasana. Keeping the soles of your feet together and knees wide, lying on your back. Just take a moment to find here your place. And then take your right hand to your belly, another hand to your heart. So we all can feel this warm heart center. Trust me, trust yourself and trust that this moment is significant and just close your eyes. Notice where are you? How do you feel today? And start to notice the quality of your breath. You don't have to do anything different, just observe your natural breath, your natural breathing. And just take this kind of similar and simple investigations to your practice today, inviting a little more uh, loving awareness in this practice. And let this practice kind of meet you where are you right now here in your mat. Take a one more deep breath here. Just open your mouth, clear it out. And slowly, we're gonna start to open our eyes. And we're gonna start to move. And um, we're gonna do some core work, first of all, just to awake the, the muscle cores and as we, um, the time before is the first thing that we need to do the twist position currently. So we're going to come to Navasana, both poses. Bring your um, hands behind your thighs. And then from here, the most important thing is first of all to set up the spine. So lengthen the spine, 
nice and long, and then broaden your curls and lift your chest to the sky. You mainly actually can stay with your toes touching the mat, or if you prefer intensify, you can bring your legs and with your chin parallel to the sky. Don't lose the integrity. So now here we're gonna take a deep breath in. And we're gonna lower in the exhale. Go, go. Good. Good. Now, inhale, lift up your chest. And exhale, go, go. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, go, go. Even more like this. Inhale. And exhale. You maybe you start shaking, nothing happened. Yeah, that's fine. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, one more like this. Inhale, you can, you got this. And exhale, go, go for it. Maybe you're gonna take some rocket rows. Now, you probably are hating me. <laughs> okay, in five, four, stay with me. Three, two, throw the nice one, and release. Good, good, good job, guys. Now, from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our, um, we're gonna take some rocker rolls up and down, the length in the spine. And then when you are ready, just make your journey to down or anything else. Gonna be your first downward facing dog. And the move is gonna down. You're gonna start to bring your breath. Just awake your body, find your place. You maybe want to wiggle your feet. You maybe want to bundle your lashes. Do something that feels good. Your body, your heels can be out to the air, and also if you need, you can bend your knees as much as you need. Just start to notice that you are lengthening the spine and finding your place here in your mat. Let's take one more nice and long breath here. And as you exhale, walk your feet towards your hands. Take as many steps as you need. Okay. And when you get on top of your mat, we're gonna go to rack tall, so feet with um, hip distance, hips distance apart, and then hug your elbows. Good. Here again, you may. Want to spin your, want to swing your spine side to side. Just give the lower back a bit of massage. Soften your knees, bend a lot if you need. Then just let your head go. Good. Deep breathing. Just let you know that you can take this pose or maybe child pose or whatever other pose that you need. Anytime that you need rest and also take any basic modification that you need to release in your body. When you are ready in your next exercise, we are going to release the hands and we, we will start getting into the flow. So slowly roll yourself up, right to the vertebra, getting your legs strong and powerful to a standing position. And when you get here, we call this position Tadasana. So we're gonna step up and listen carefully because we're gonna create the foundation for your practice today. So take this Tadasana as an anchor to move as, uh, in a safe uh, uh, asana today. Okay. So close your eyes and then I want you guys 
uh, grown field that you are growing down to the four corners of your feet. Good. And then lift your inner arches. Pack your, your chins to the midline. And then just spin your inner thighs back. Good. Now we are our legs activate. Let's play and activate our core. So lift your pelvic floor and then tuck your wrist to the mid, tuck your wrist in. And from here, see if you can land on the sides of your body. Good. And then draw your inner and other shoulders back. Roll them in front of us. And see if you can land on the edges of your neck. And finally, just lift the crow, your crown to the ceiling. Pack your fingers, activate the fingers. And then if you want, you can add a smile as well. So good. Now we're going to move. And we're going to start with two rounds of palm salutation A. We're going to take the first one super slowly and really consciously. Okay? So reach your arms to the sky as you are breathing in. And then in your exhale, bow yourself forward. Open your knees and let your neck go flat. We're going to take a halfway lift, breathing in. You can bring your hands to your chin, or if you need, you can use your block to create more space. Now from here, I'm going to stay for a, for a while. So this is a tuck lift. I want you to bend your knees as much as you need and then shift your weight into your heels. Really feel that you're pressing into your heels. And then from here, just see if you can send your sitting bones towards the, the back of the room in the same time that you are pulling the crown of your head towards the front of the room. Good. And then take one little rest here and see if you can lift your chest a bit more. And then four, four, as you are emptying your breath. Now, feel your hand and step back to the first high plank. Good, you're gonna hold for five breaths here. Yeah. But I want you guys in, um, have your, the, your tongue to the knee plank. Good, and then wrap your glitters back and feel that you are creating more space between your shoulders legs, like protracting your shoulders legs. And then from here, zip up your belly. And then feel that you are pressing, really pressing back through your heels. Feel this kind of opposite uh, strength through the whole body. Take one more deep breath here. And then we're going to come all the way back, all the way to um, the air. If you need to modify, you can always lower your feet. Otherwise, you stay with me and let really strength. Now in five, we're going to come down, four, three, two, and one, release, good. Now we're going to take the first baby cobra, so really press and activate your feet, okay? Now bring your hands close to your rib cage, and you're going to lift in your inhale, lift the chest to the sky, and then use your back muscles to see if you can open and send more this heart to the sky. One little breath here and just release in your next exhale. You can take one more like this. Inhale, open the chest. Feel your glutes active and pressing into your face, into your face. And then exhale. And now slowly send your knees back and come to downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana, breathing out. Okay, guys, so we got five breaths here. Let's create a good downward facing dog. So the idea here is just keep the integrity of your back rather than just dropping your ribs down and arching and crunching this spine. So what I want you guys here is just feel really 
lift your uh, arm feet, lift your uh, upper arms, good. And then tuck your wrist in and pull your navel towards the side, okay? And then from here, take one more breath and see if you can stand and lift your sitting bones a bit more towards the sky. Good, take one more breath here. And then in your exhale, lift your heels, soften your knees, look forward, step or jump to the top of your mark, take a hard way, lift. now we're gonna flow. Inhale, forward fold, bend up. From all the way up, reaching your arms to the sky, legs nice and strong, breathing in, and bow yourself forward as you exhale. Again, take a hard way lift, nice flat back, and then press your hands and step back to high flat. Now we're gonna move to Chaturanga. Again, you can lower your knees if you need less. Otherwise, stay with me. Keep your ribs in, keep your belly in, and then slowly we're gonna bend, tip forward, and come to the elbow high. Then you're gonna take one breath here, and then in your exhale. Just untap your feet and come to outward facing dog, or if you wish, just do cobra pose. Just listen your body. And then on your exhale, get back to downward facing dog, outward mukha sanasana, breathing up. Now we're going to take a deeply nice breath here together, just to reconnect with this breath. Inhale, and open your mouth, clear it up. Good. Now we're gonna move to sun salutation A, I B. So this time, lift your right leg to the sky, breathing in, nice and slowly with control, need to know cross, final cross. Good, feel like you're pushing your mouth away and get this, this wrong spine. Okay, in your next inhale, lift up your leg again, okay? and then this time bring your knee, right knee to your right arm. Next step. Good. In your inhale, back up, three level up, and now bring your right knee to your left arm. Feet. Good. Stay with me. You can. You got this. Now lift up, breathing in. Last one. Need to know. And exhale and step forward between your hands, low lunge. Good. Now just bring your left hand to the air and then reach out your right arm to the sky. Easy twist. Inhale. Back leg strong and nice. Open your chest. And then come to the center as you empty your breath. You're gonna set up for where you want. So back foot flat, and then from here, with this foundation of your leg, we are gonna come all the way up where you want. One, good. Keep breathing. Now, most important, just check that your knee cap is on top of your heel. Important. And then activate your front gluteal. Good. See if your hips are square, nice and square, so front. And then from here, with your legs really strong, use this foundation to see if you can land on the side of your body. Take one more deep breath here. Just part your fingers, all in your exhale. And then two hands to the air. Take a chaturanga langasana in your own flow. You can add something wherever it feels good for your body, or even if you want to do just a dress or sleep anytime that you need. Okay. 
from here let's take one deep breath here and then exhale this time leave your right left leg to the sky breathing in and then knee to know exhale pull the arm away get back breathing in three level up left knee to left arm exhale again lift up breathing in and then this time we're gonna cross so left knee to right arm feet exhale back up to three level up inhale last time you got this beautiful and then just step forward between your hands slow lunge so take one breath here, nice and slow, and then just reach your left hand to the sky, back leg strong and nice, easy twist. Come to the center in your neck, exhale, step up your back foot, flat and nice, strong, and then you're gonna come all the way up in your inhale, for you one same foundation that we did with the other side so square your hips to the front feel your legs strong and nice inhale breathing and see if you can pack your chest the midline so create this kind of z direction and don't forget to get your spine nice and long Take one more deep breath here. And then just come to Chaturanga Dandasana in your own body. If you want more, you can do three. Another Chaturanga Dandasana, and you want less, just skip. And go straight away to downward facing dog. Good. Now, Lift your heels, soften your knees, step or jump to the top of your mat. Take a halfway lift, breathing in, and then forward fold, and step. This time, this is because we're going to add different things. So, come to chair pose, uh, toes together, and then bring your thumbs to your hip feet. Pull them back. Keep your weight. To your heels and bend a lot your knees come all the way up Utkatasana, shoulder pose good now i'm gonna stay here for a long deep and carefully bring back your belly and then see if you can squeeze your other side to the midline like you are putting everything in 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 the center good take one more deep breath here and then see if you can sing a bit deeper in your head. Okay, so now it's a good moment. Notice what is going on in your mind when the things get hard, when you want to give up. So you want to stay here for the whole process. Okay, stay with me on the three, two, sing deeper, and to raise and extend. And wait this nice flat line, flat spine, and then get back to Chaturanga Dandasana in your own flow. Upward facing dog, broaden your collarbones. Downward facing dog, high move the Sanasana, breathing. Oh, now we're gonna move with the flow. So right leg to the sky, breathing in. And then need to know and step, step forward, go lunge. And now easy twist in your inhale, come to the center, exhale, step up for the warrior one, and rise up in your inhale. Good, two hands to the earth, have to run the dandasana into up. Upward facing dog, squeeze your shoulders, leg to the Downward facing dog, and exhale. 
Rồi biết chờ gì? Now let's let to the sky breathing in. Need to know as you are empty your breath, step forward. Easy twist as you breathe in nice and extend your heart to the sky and come to the center. Step back forward in one. Inhaling. And two hands to the air. Chaturra Mudha Nandaka. High to low plan. Upward facing dog. Lift your breath. And follow it. Downward facing dog. Push them out of the way. As you exhale. Good, guys. That's wonderful. We're going to take three rounds of breath here. Just to reconnect with the breath and keep activating all your muscles. Downward facing dog is really a space that is being in a centering position, but it's not a resting position. So keep, keep activating and feeling strength here. See if you can take your hands and take your feet. And try to put together, hacking the midline. Yeah, good. Feel this kind of opposite energy for the whole body. One more breath here. And then, if so carefully, because we're gonna start to create and we're gonna still moving with the flow. So, right leg to the sky, breathing in. Need to know, and step. Step forward, easy, uh, low lunge, breathing in, take an easy twist as you exhale, good. Now come to the center, and we're gonna come all the way up to crescent lunge. Inhale, good, now again, stay in foundation, make sure that your kneecap is on top of your heel, and I want you to really feel that you are pressing down into your heel with this knee cup. Good. Activate your front gluteal. And again, feel that you are getting taller and create this neutral spine. You can always lower your knee if you need less. Otherwise, stay with me. Soften it with your back knee so it's going to help you Release the tension on your lower back. We're going to hold here for three more breaths. Inhale. Draw a strength on your legs. Exhale. If you can sink a little deeper. One more like this. Getting taller and exhale. Bring your hands to your heart. Lean forward in your inhale. And then revolving crescent lunge. Are breathing out. Good. Again, you can lower your knee if you need. Otherwise, stay with me. And legs strong and nice. They are doing the mainly work here. Good. And then see if you can deepen your twist. Again, remember for your rib cage as you are breathing in. Take three more breaths here. Look forward. Uh, eyes gaze steady and feel your legs really working right now. They should be burning. One more breath and come to the center, releasing the crescent lunge. And now we can open to an easy twist, but in the upper body as we are breathing. Okay, so remember, don't lose the integrity and the line of your hips all the time. Uh, we are twisting through the rib cage. And then in your next inhale, come to the center, press and line, and unwind to work with your glutes. That's feel good, I know. Now we're gonna move to something that you're gonna love. So, if you can keep rolling your front knee out all the time. Now we are opening the hip and correct this kind of this or action. Good with your legs. 
and then just lengthen through your arms pelvis relapse and now what i want you guys to do is we're gonna put our hand in finger i feel fingers and we're gonna release and straighten some length as we are giving a big hug to ourselves and breaking all the energy releasing the the, the legs and uh, as you exhale, open your arms again, again, and breathe all your energy, breathing in, and then open your arms as you exhale. Hold here for one breath, and then breathe your arms and reverse body, you're breathing in. Land from the sides of your body, enjoy the journey, and we're gonna come to side angle modified. Well, let's just put facing to you to show you. So, legs, same position that we're real to. And then you have different options. You can do this one, which is the one that I'm gonna do. Just bring your elbow to your thigh, and then just hold the arm. If you feel more energetic today and you feel more powerful, you can always do a full version and just bring your hand to your ear, okay? And take the full variation of side angle. Okay, from here, you're gonna stay here for three, five more breaths. Just feel your legs nice and strong, pressing really down to the four corners of your feet, and then see again if you can from the twist, eyes gaze, baby, towards the sky, one more breath, keep your belly even, and zip up your navel towards the spine, and then come to the center, and sun, get back, start to run the land, you are breathing out, just do whatever feels good for you. You can add on something or you can take a rest. We are meeting in downward facing dog, breathing out. Okay. So now we're gonna move to the other side. So in your next inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Inhale. And then knee to know, exhale, step forward, slow lunge, breathing in, and we're gonna move to easy twist as we are breathing out. Good, open your chest, up to the center. Now, really pressing down with your feet, you're gonna come all the way up to press and lunge. Strong and nice pose. Good. Feel your legs are burning right now. I don't know you guys, but I'm start to sweating. That's fine. Okay, you may be feeling that you are shaking with your legs. All oh, good. That's good. So same foundation. So really conscious with your legs and your hips should be square and nice to the front. Take one more deeply breath here. And your next exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Lean forward, we are preparing for revolving. Press and lunge as you are breathing. So, again, you always can modify. You can lower your knee if you want that. Nothing happens, no drama. Just listen your body. Otherwise, if you stand here, you're really pressing into the four corners of your feet and really feeling your legs as the foundation of this pose. Good, and now in your next inhale, just take it and twist a bit deeper from your rib cage. And then exhale, come to the center, press the legs, and unwind to warm you too. That's feel good, release. A bit your legs. Good. Yeah. Just one thing. Just the tendency is kind of lean forward. So 
Imagine that you want to stack in your head, your heart, and your pelvis in all in one in, a, in one line. So just be mindful of this. Keep breathing. Now here, if you wish, you can close your eyes just to experiment and stack in, stick in the sensation over the shape. One more deep breath here, and now we're gonna do exactly the same. Just put your feet, fingers, and release your legs as you are giving a big hug to yourself, embracing all the energy that you already create, and then being a bunch deeper again, again, breathing in, uh, hug all the energy, and then open your arms as you empty your breath, hold here for one breath, Lift up your heart and breathe as wherever you enjoy and this juicy stretch of the side of your body and come to the side angle modified. Take the same version that you took in the other side. You can bring your elbow to your side or even if you want, you can place your hands to the other. Stay. Whatever you stay, just be mindful of your legs. Feel that you are pressing into the other feet, okay? Like you want to even lift your inner arches. Good. So feet are really activate. Hug your chest to the midline. Feel this kind of energy that you want to bring every, uh, all your legs to the center. Breathing in. See if you can deepen your twist through your rib cage, and then in your next exhale, just come to the center and take your journey to a little vinyasa on your own floor. Just listen to your body and just do something that feels really good for you. And we will meet in downward facing dog, handle move sanasana as we breathe in out. Now we're gonna collect a big, nice and calming breath together, breathing into your nostrils. Open your mouth, side breath. Okay, we are not fish finished yet. So now in your next inhale, lean forward and come to high front. I know, that's your favorite pose. It's mine as well. Good. Keep your belly in, zip up your navel toward the spine, and then feel that you're pressing back to the four corners of your hands. Now we're gonna move. We're gonna roll our hips together to the right. And we're gonna take Vashistasana, side plank in our right side. Good, this is a strong position. I know you probably Act like me that I'm bubbling and I'm shaking. That's fine. Okay, this is challenging. Now feel that you are pressing, really pressing down to the four corners of your fingers, of your hand. And then just check because your feet, your hips, and your armpit should be all in one, like in one line. Good, let's take one more breath here. See if you can. Look to the sky and then come to the center as you exhale. Good. Now we're going to move to the other side. Ready? Ready? Okay. Roll along to the right, left side. And in the same. Squeeze your toes together. Yeah, should be feet on top of each other. And then Feel that like you are pushing your mother away with your arm, your bottom arm, and feel that you have lifting your belly and keep your chest lifted as well. Warm, warm, really rest here. And nice and easy, just release as you are breathing out and take your journey to downward facing the Please meet with me in downward facing dog. 
to really enjoy the journey. And then just breathe out in this box. As you finish, now we're gonna lower our knees nice and calm and soft. And we're gonna take child pose. You can bring your knees separate, or if you prefer, you can do child pose with knees together. Your own version, because it's your practice. And then reach your arm forward and just take a moment here and see how your resting place. Take this moment to notice now, right now, what is going on in your mind. Check the quality of your breath. Is it this a bit different from the beginning? Is the same the sensation on your body right now? And imagine that everything is going on in your life in this way or for everything. You want to put everything all in one in house. Just stay here in your mind with yourself, with your breath. Take one more calming and nice breath in. And as you exhale slowly, come all the way up to high ground. And then get back to downward facing dog, waving up. Okay, now. Lift your right leg to the sky as you are breathing in and bring your um, step forward outside to your mat. Right here. Now, I want you to feel that you are stretching your flexor hip in the top. Okay, that's a nice but uh, activity. Uh, position. So if you want to, you want more, you can always lift your toes up and just make sure that you will still burn the front knee out. Yeah, good. You maybe want to stay here because it's enough for your chest. If you wish more, you can bend your back knee and then slowly come to your four hands. Or even if you want more, you can just rest, make like a pillow with your hands. Just stay here. You don't stay here for long, so just be mindful of your breath and use this breath to go deeper into your toes. See if you can surrender, kind of surrender in this pose. Even if it's a bit uncomfortable, find this place, find this. Find that you can be comfortable in this uncomfortable position. One more long breath here. And as you are in exhaling, just rise yourself up. And now we're gonna come to a half pigeon. So wiggle your front foot and get to into this pose. Yeah. And bring your chin parallel to your mat, or if you prefer, because you are not accessible to this uh, shape. You can just open a bit closer your heel. If your sitting bones are not touching to the mat, you can place your block underneath your hips. Just 
that right memory space and we will control this position for you. Okay? This is your body. And then just check your back leg because even if now we are coming down, it's super important that you, we keep activate all the muscles. Okay? So keep your back foot and pressing on the top of the, the foot. Then lift your inner side up. Good. And from here, you can just stay here if it's enough. Or if you prefer, you can slowly come to your forearms. And just rest. Just Stay here with your mind. Take a moment and take advantage of this nice stretching to surrender, to be present, checking what is going on right now in your mind. Because I don't know for you, but normally I find this, this end of the session is a more challenging for me because I'm tempting to think or overthinking. So just try to keep your mind calm. And just be present and stick on the sensation over the shape. Take one more nice and conscious breath here. In your next exam, rise yourself up. Now, so just swing your back leg forward. I'm gonna cross over the other leg. Today the half fish skin. So place your left hand behind you. Lift your chest to the sky. And then as you are breathing, lift your right arm to the sky. And we're gonna twist to the other side. Exhale. Good. Remember, twisting from your rib cage. Keep your belly in. Pull up your navel towards the sky. Just take one more like this in the columns of your breath. As you are breathing out, come to the center. And now we're gonna kind of just uh, switch legs. So come to runner legs in your left leg. Okay, so and then stay. You're gonna stay just here if that is enough. But remember the position of your kneecap should be out, rolling out all the time. If you want more, if you want to intensify. You can lift your toes and then just bend your back knee and find which version fits best for your body. In this nice stretch on your hip flexors, which is the toes, yeah, keep breathing and keep your belly in and straight all the time. Two more rounds of breath. And then, as you finish, if you feel balanced, come to the center and bring up your foot. Get into half pigeon. Then just copy what you did in the other side. Make sure that your hips are nice and square. You can always use your block. If you are not touching with the sitting bones, ground. That's gonna help you to grow in this pose. And then from here, slowly and calm. 
If you raise your bottom arm to your forearms. Use your breath to go deeper into a shape, really enjoying the watching the next exhale, rise your belt up and again lift your back leg forward across to the other side, the other side stage. So this time lift your left arm to the sky and then as you are breathing out, just twist and cross to the other side. Good. And then again, look forward and open your chest, open up your chest, rise towards the sky. You want two more breaths here. And in your next exhale, if you feel bad, come to the center. And this time, we're going to make our journey to downward facing dog. Maybe you want to take Chaturanga Dandasana. This is going to be your last downward facing dog. Just do whatever feels good for your body right now. And then we will be. In downward facing dog as you exhale. Now, what we're gonna do is gonna lift the heels, soften your knees, and we're gonna jump through to land on our foot. So, almost finished. Now we're gonna take, we got just one back bend today. So, you either can take just bridge pose, you can take a just basic bridge if you want to just put the block under your lower back, or if you have wheel in your practice, you can take wheel. So I'm gonna take just a bridge pose, so stay with me. Then bring your heels close to your bottom. Just see if you can touch with your fingertips, that's a good sign. Then on the arm, first of all, just activate your muscle, muscle, core muscle. So lift your belly out and then tuck your tailbone. And from here, rather than just up straight away, we're going to arm slowly and consciously. So lift your hips slowly all the way up to the sky as you are feeling that you are pressing through the through your heels go and now here you have different options you can kind of stay just like this or if you want to intensify you can lean your arms behind you and then this is gonna have to open up your chest and squeeze your shoulders way together Good. So stay here for four, three, two, one, and just slowly release. Then bring your knees together and you can wash your knees, but it's gonna give you a gentle release. If you have any tension in your low back, and then just bring your right knee to your chest. I'm gonna take a fine twist, so cross over to your left side, and just look to your right side. Uh, just make sure that your shoulders are touching to the mat. That's the most important thing. Don't worry for whole legs, like this case, 
nothing happening to your knees, not touching to the mat. The most important thing is put your shoulders in line and feel this juicy stretch. Yeah. Take one more turning and deep breath here. And then just come to the center, switch legs. And copy exactly what you did on the other side. And if you're ready, come on and come to the center. Just say happy baby before we will come to the resting position. If you wish to do anything else, just maybe, maybe you want to stretch one of the legs, maybe you want to stretch both legs. Just take one more deeply breath here, super conscious. Open your mouth and tight breath. Now, Savasana is waiting for you. Just lengthen, lengthen your legs outside to your back. Bring your arms beside your side and turn up your palms towards the sky. Just think if you can. Yes. Relax. Relax the weight of your body, fully and completely into your mat. Take one deep breath here. And as you are exhaling, just feel your body even heavy. Allowing yourself permission to do absolutely nothing. Yeah, for a moment. And allow your body to take all the benefits of this session and come completely into the energy that we already got. If you got more time, feel free to stay here as long as you need, as long as you wish. Otherwise, if you feel ready to move on into your Wednesday morning, start to deepen your breath, bring him back this breath, and use this breath to inspire a little movement in your fingers, your thumbs. Even if you want, you can take a full last stretch to bring your arm above your head. Just like this, kind of awaking the stretch in the full body. And then roll yourself to your favorite time, slowly and nice. Take your time. And when you feel ready, just Join with me and come to your comfortable sitting position. Keep your eyes closed. And then bring your hands to your heart. 
Let's take one last conscious breath in. Open your mouth, clear it out. And then here, take a time, take a moment to honor your body. Love your body. Just notice breath. Bow your head. And we will finish with three. Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing with me your practice today. Hope you uh, enjoy the practice and hopefully I will see you for next time. Enjoy the rest of your day. Besitos.